The Kazan Aviation Plant has signed a contract for the supply of an additional 23 TU-214 aircraft, according to reports. This was disclosed during the board meeting of the Ministry of Industry and Trade of the Republic of Tatarstan. Nevertheless, the company with whom the new firm contract was signed has not been disclosed. Oleg Korobchenko, the director of the Republic's Ministry of Industry and Trade, announced that 90 billion rubles will be allocated for the modernization of the Kazan Aviation Plant's production facilities and the expansion of Tupolev aircraft production during the meeting. This covers the development of a modern after-sales service system, the transition to digital manufacturing technology, and modernization initiatives. As of today, S7 Airlines has contracted 100 TU-214 aircraft, Airero has contracted 9, and Yakusha Airlines has contracted 12. Korobchenko provides this information. The individual who ordered the additional 23 aircraft was not disclosed by the minister. It is important to mention that the board meeting of the Ministry of Industry and Trade of the Republic of Tatarstan was held on February 27. A significant delegation from the Ministry of Industry and Trade of Russia, which included Minister Anton Alikhanov, as well as representatives of other government agencies, heads of state-owned companies, and defense industry executives, attended. Alexander Pan, the director of the Radio Electronic Technologies Concern, and Vadim Badha, the head of the United Aircraft Corporation, were among the attendees. Anton Alikhanov, the new Minister of Industry and Trade of Russia, previously announced that the first two newly constructed aircraft from Kazan Aviation Plant are scheduled for delivery in 2025. Nevertheless, the plant presently lacks the capacity to manufacture four TU-214 aircraft by 2025, as originally intended, according to Oleg Korobchenko, the Minister of Industry and Trade of Tatarstan. Consequently, the Kazan aviation manufacturers will only be able to deliver two aircraft this year. Nevertheless, the Republic remains committed to attaining a minimum annual production rate of 20 aircraft by 2027, as previously stated by the head of Tatarstan, Rustam Minikhanov. Between 2025 and 2027, the Russian government will allocate 27.6 billion rubles for the modernization of the Sukhoi Superjet 100, SJ-100, in addition to the about 90 billion rubles that were allocated for the TU-214. The funds will be allocated to research and development that are designed to enhance the flight and technical performance of the modified aircraft, maximize the use of Russian-made components, and complete the certification process. The funding will be allocated in the following manner. 8.98 billion rubles in 2026, 9.13 billion rubles in 2027, and 9.5 billion rubles in 2025. Contractors will be chosen through a competitive tendering process on the government procurement website, with the results to be disclosed on March 18. The modernization process will involve the refinement of current prototypes, the development of a modular interior, an integrated boarding staircase, and an additional fuel system, the execution of flight and ground tests, and the creation of new design documentation. The initiative also intends to improve the aircraft's transport capabilities and expand its operating conditions. The SSJ-100 modernization program, which started in 2018, is dedicated to enhancing the aircraft's competitiveness in the global market and substituting imports. Prototypes that are equipped with Russian PD-8 and SAM-146 engines have already been developed as part of this program. Preliminary flight tests have been concluded and endurance tests have been conducted for up to 26,000 flight cycles. The present phase entails the completion of certification tests, the refinement of new systems and components, and the enhancement of operational characteristics, such as onboard avionics and takeoff landing performance. The plans anticipate the production of 30 SJ-100 aircraft in 2026, with a total of 142 units by 2030. Nevertheless, the ultimate production schedule will be adjusted in 2025 following the completion of the certification process. Now, do you think Tupolev 214 is getting more popular or the hope of receiving MC-21 in time is diminishing? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel.
Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.